one key warning sign for a cult is that they hype people up into believing. Mm. Do you hype people up? <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, most people who come along feel like they have been not hyped up and yeah. rather been, feel, they come away feeling quite overwhelmed and quite like <laughs> feeling like they have been disturbed rather than hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I feel if you interviewed most people who come along to our seminars, that's probably what they'd feel when they walk out. Well, I, th I, I observe a variety, depending on... Um, some people walk away feeling really excited about what excited, they've learned. Excited, yeah, yeah, perhaps. But over time, I find that people still feel attracted to the truths that they're hearing. But it becomes, because this is a path or the way is very much about introspection and mm. working on oneself, then often people become more challenged yeah. by the level of work they realise is necessary in order to grow. Of course. Is, yeah, is that yeah I, feel, I feel that's the yeah. case. And, and I feel that most people, while I'm encouraging, and I'm always encouraging about a person living in harmony with truth and living in harmony with love and being more humble, you know, that I'm always going to be very encouraging about doing those particular things. Um, I don't feel that I have hype. Hype to me is a false or a facade Mm -hmm. drilled up to generate an emotional response in a whole collective group of people and that and that is all manipulative and I don't agree in manip with manipulating people's emotions. I do feel that it's important to state the truth. Yep. So if I feel that God's a wonderful being, I'm going to state God's a wonderful being and all the reasons why I feel God is. Yep. And if that then hypes the person up, well, that's up to the person, like if the person's encouraged by that or not. Mm -hmm. For some people... They feel very angry when I make statements like that. So, yeah, I feel like um, I don't hype people up. I tell people the truth and I feel enthusiastic in doing so. That's what I do. And, uh, but I, I observe that many religious leaders, when they get on their pulpits on Sundays, hype people up. And I observe many politicians, when they were getting ready for an election, hype people up. So how would you characterise that behaviour? What do you Well, many times they're up? saying a whole heap of things that they personally don't practise and they personally don't believe yep. and they personally don't do yep. themselves and they personally don't even do in their private life, but they do it, they're saying it all publicly in order to get a certain emotional response. Right. It's a bit like a politician talking about, you know, like a politician in the USA talking about how important it is to, to you know, have the right to life, you know, and, yeah. prom and promotes uh, not having abortion when he himself has encouraged his wife to abort the child. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, that's a person who's hypocriti hypocritical and also just hyping up a group of people to get a response, mm. which is his own election. So it's very selfish. And I don't, I don't do that ever. And do you feel as well... <laughs> It's about capitalising on the emotions that people are suppressing Cer within themselves. Certainly, certainly. That's what I see when yeah, someone's Yeah, so, so when, when you know up. a whole group is, uh, of people is afraid of a certain thing and you know that saying a few words will actually help, you know, make them all feel more afraid and that they'll agree with you and that's what you want. So you say all those words. So you're just hyping people up there. Mm. You know, I, I never encourage people's fear. No yeah. matter how much approval I'd get from it, I never encourage it. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, I do quite the opposite. That's why most people are challenged. I never encourage people's anger. Yeah. And that's why when most people get angry, um, you know, around me, it's because they want to get angry, mm. not because I'm encouraging it or hyping them up to do so. Yeah. Um, you know, these are, these are things that a person does who's manipulative, and I'm certainly not a manipulative person, yeah. um, as you know. Yeah. And, and... What I feel is quite often happening with regard to groups of people is that they are frequently hyped up based on the unhealed emotions that they have. In other words, what people are doing, people who are in power generally are doing, are manipulating the emotions of the individual so that the, the individual finishes up agreeing with the person's in power's policy or decision. Yes. And, and that, that is not a good leader at all. In fact, that's a terrible leader who does that because they're just feeding the addictions of the populace. Yep. And I don't agree with feeding the addictions of any person, and particularly a large group of people, I'd never agree with feeding the addictions. And that's why divine truth grows very slowly, yep. because I don't agree with feeding the addictions of people, individuals or groups. Mm. Mm. And I feel the person who's, who's you know, doing these things is generally feeding the addictions of people. They like 
engendering or encouraging certain types of emotions in order for them to get approval and therefore get a vote or, 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 or to get some kind of, or even get a monetary donation, you know. You see a lot of this happening in New Age philosophy where, you know, people channel material because it makes other people feel good. Yeah. Like, I don't do that. I don't give information to people to make them feel good. I give information to people because I know it's the truth, yeah. not because it makes them feel good. And sometimes it doesn't make them feel good. Yeah. In yeah. fact, many people who've heard us feel like it doesn't make them feel good. <laughs> um, yeah, what I notice when people get hyped up and manipulated is that they're often being told things that help them live in fear yes. or live in their, live their, in their addiction. addiction. Yeah. So it's finding a downtrodden group of people and giving them a, an... Yeah, it's like, it's, it, to put it coarsely, it's like finding a whole group of people who are dradic, dradics and, and saying to them, I'm going to make a law that's going to let you be free to have any drug you want. Yeah. You know, of course those people are going to be hyped up and going to feel great about that. Yeah. You're going to think you're, you're someone to vote for, right? Yeah. But it's not for their benefit. Yeah. Uh, all it is is feeding their addiction. Most of us don't realise that that's what's happening emotionally to us. In, in many media presentations through advertising and through and advertising TV. and through other mechanisms. Yeah, yeah advertising is a great example of this yep. where, where adver adverts hype you up or get you to feel a certain thing, but it's in order to buy something or do something that they want you to do. And I'm not into doing that at all. Like what a person does with their life right across the board is up to them. All I'm doing is presenting the truth. If you want to hear it, listen. If you don't want to hear it, don't. Yeah. 